Hey everybody, it's Day of the Grace. This is Pastor Megan and I'm sleepy. But, but, did you know that a lot of times God comes to you right in that part where you're sleepy right before you fall asleep? I play this game with the babies a lot where I fall asleep and they go, wake up, Pastor Megan. Right in that time between when you are sleepy and you fall asleep is a lot of times um, when I get my next crazy idea of what I'm going to be up to at church. But it's also one of those times when God speaks to us. A couple of the books of the Bible start with, I had a dream. And they're not talking about in the Martin Luther King Jr. way. He kind of other directioned that he was inspired by the Bible. Um, but they have they had dreams. The book of Revelations, despite some people being very, very certain that the whole world is going to end a certain way. And there's Kirk Cameron movies about it people disappearing it was a dude's dream right it was a dream about how the world is how the world could be different it was a political allegory and so if you're sleepy when you're laying there when you're about ready to go to sleep if ideas come to you sometimes we just worry right we have our to-do list of worry know that god loves you and names you and claims you so if you can get rid of that worry list but then when imaginative things come to you and you're like, what if the whole world was made of cupcakes? Or what if we gave people without homes homes and then they weren't homeless? Like all of these creative things that become possible in this almost sleeping space are the things that can inspire us and be the Holy Spirit when we're awake. And if you don't believe me, it's in the Bible. Taylor Grace, take a nap. God might talk to you.